We're in a new lesson, lesson 22, and we're going to be learning about the coordinate plane. And this video is about coordinate graphs. Lesson 22a, of course, like always, I have links in the video's description to help you if you need it. A coordinate plane is made by two number lines that intersect each other. There's a horizontal number line called the x-axis that intersects a vertical number line called the y-axis. They make like a plus sign. And these two number lines cross each other at their zero points. Zero for the x-axis and zero for the y-axis. And this zero, zero spot is called the origin. So if you look at this, this is the coordinate plane, coordinate grid. And this is the x-axis. It's going horizontally. Here's the y-axis. It's going vertically. And you can see they meet where x is zero. See, it's been between negative one and one. That's its zero mark. And for y, it meets between its 1 and negative 1. So it meets at 0, 0, the origin. The x and y axes, that's plural for axis, divide the plane into four quadrants. And they're labeled with Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, starting at the upper right corner up here. And you, I always tell everyone you can remember which quadrant is which because it makes the shape of a C for coordinate plane, coordinate grid. It makes a C shape. It starts here, then goes to 2, 3, 4. See? A point is located on the grid wherever the values for X and Y meet. An ordered pair is a set of X and Y values for a particular point. So wherever the X value is and the Y value is, we follow them to see where they would intersect. The first number in an ordered pair represents the x value, and the second number represents the y value. And they're in parentheses, and they're separated by a comma, and the x value is always first. Another thing I tell people to remember the grid, because you want to remember which one's x and which one's y, y to the sky. That's how you remember that that's the one that's vertical, all right? Now, some grids only use quadrant one. See? That's quadrant one. And you'll see that on graphs and tables. They're only using one quadrant. So you might come across that. So for this one, if you look, we've got the positive x numbers here. We've got the negative x numbers here. We've got the positive y numbers here. And the negative y numbers down here. See that? And we can locate a point on the grid, or we can plot, which means put a point, by using the values for x and y. So if we have the point 6 for x and 4 for y, we find it by locating positive 6 on the x-axis, it's right there, and positive 4 on the y-axis, and then locating the ex exact spot where they intersect each other. So we find positive 6 on the x, then we find positive 4 on the y, and we go across to find the x, we go up to find the y, and we can see they meet right there. So that's the point, 6 for x, 4 for y. It's right there. See? And put a dot to represent the location for the ordered pair. We can draw lines or line segments. Remember, lines have arrows on each side. Line segments have endpoints and we can connect points. So if we've got 5 for x and 0 for y, and 0 for x and 5 for y, we can plot these. And when a value for x or y is 0, it's on the axis. So take a look at this. We're going to find 5 for x and 0 for y. So we look at the x-axis. It's a positive 5, so it's going to be right here in between this 4 and 6. But for 0 for y, well, 0 is right here, so it's going to actually be on the x-axis. See that? 0 for x and 5 for y, well, 5 for y is right here. And for x to be a 0, it's going to be right here, so it's going to be on the y. See? So when you see this, you know if y is a 0, it's just going to be 5 on the x-axis and you see 0 for x, it's going to be 5 on the y-axis. See that? 
And we can make geometric shapes or polygons when we connect points with line segments. And the points are labeled with capital letters. So for the ordered pair, negative 6 and 5, that would be point A. Here's negative 6 on the X, and here's 5 on the Y. It would meet right there at A. For point 7 and negative 2, we would find 7 on the x-axis, it's right here in between the 6 and the 8, and negative 2 brings us down here, that's point B. Point C is at negative 6, negative 4, so we find negative 6 on the x, negative 4 on the y, and that's where they meet, see? We can also plot pairs of points and make intersecting lines. So if you see AB with this line with arrows going each direction, that means line AB, we can plot negative 4 and 7, and 7 and positive 4. Here's negative 4 and 7. It's negative 4 on the x, 7 on the y. It meets right there. And 7 and 4 would be a positive 7, and a positive 4 would be right there. We can draw a line going through it, put arrows on each side. We can find line CD at negative 1 and negative 5. We find negative 1 for x. That's right here and negative 5 brings us down here, so that's point C, and 2 and 3. Here's a 2 on the X and a 3 on the Y, and that points, puts us at point D, and we can draw a line through them, and we can see where they intersect right there. See that? That would actually be the solution to a system of equations. Now, if we zoom in, we can make a grid that shows smaller increments as rational numbers like decimals and fractions. So instead of having each box equal a whole number, we could say four boxes equals a one. So we could do one fourth, one half, three fourths. We could have said three boxes and made each one a third. We could have done 10 boxes and made each one a tenth. So if we wanted to plot three fourths and one fourth, three fourths would be right here and one fourth would be right there. And that's where the point would be. If we had x as 1 and 1 fourth and y as a negative half, well, 1 and 1 fourth would put it there, and half would be right here for the negative half. See that? And we can also zoom out to show larger increments. So we could say that each box, each line here is 1,000. So if we wanted to plot x is 4,000, y is negative 3,000, well, here's 4,000 for x. Here's negative 3,000 for y, it would put us right there, see? This grid has several names, coordinate grid, coordinate plane, Cartesian plane, Cartesian coordinate system, and it's named after René Descartes. He was a French mathematician, and I think he published it around 1637 or so, all right? So you should now be ready to do the skill focus on page 251, and I'm going to include some ordered pairs and coordinate grid videos, just a few of them, right after this video in this GED playlist. You can watch them if you want some extra help or if you're interested in the topic, or you could skip them and just go to lesson 22B. 22B is going to be about special formats. We're going to learn about plotting ordered pairs on that GED answer sheet. And there's going to be links from grade 6. This is about the coordinate plane, and some Chapter 7 videos that could help you in the previous videos from this GED playlist if you need to go back, okay? So keep trying. You know I'm proud of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.